Our next guest, he is co-owner of Walter E. Smith Furniture. You've seen him on his award-winning uh, TV commercials, and he's the greatest karaoke singer you'll ever hear. It's our good buddy from Walter E. Smith. It's Tim Smith. How are you, buddy? I love you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> what is your... and I and, and I got to say, I love this gig that you're doing because now I get you when I miss you. I just turn on the drive and I get you and oh, my favorite songs. Isn't that nice? Yeah, what, it's what, true. What's your go-to karaoke song when you want to bring down the house? Uh, Vertigo by U2. Vertigo by U2. Hello, hello. Everybody. I've heard that. Vertigo. That's right. I remember you singing that. It's a little bit hard to sing, which yeah. makes it a little more, you know, a better karaoke song. I'm telling you, Sweet Caroline is my go-to. Brings That's down the house. smart one. Yes. Thank you. Scott, what was yours? Mine is uh, The Letter by The Box Tops. Oh, yeah. It's oh. very quick. It's about two, two minutes long. There's something real good about a short karaoke song. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, Pete, uh, I was very excited what we've gotten to know Tim Smith though, over the years, and, and he's uh, been on the show and hung out with us and calls us somewhat of a friend, but I was more excited to meet his dad. Last time I saw Tim Smith, he was with his dad, and there's, I mean, his dad's a little bit more of a rock star than Tim. Dad's the best. I, I I love your father, and you want to talk about a Chicago institution, Walter yeah. E. Smith Furniture. Your dad is Walter E. He's the Absolutely. guy. Absolutely. He really is. I've got, in fact, there's a bunch of Walters in my family. My grandpa was Walter E., my dad, my brother, and my nephew. So we got four of them. Look at that. Four of them. Yeah. Um, something that uh, we're both passionate about is the Honor Flight Chicago. And Walter E. Smith, yes. you guys have been behind this for many, many years. I saw your TV commercials. Honor Flight Chicago took off from uh, Chicago. It was yesterday, right, Scott? Or the day before? It was sometime yeah. this week. Yep. And uh, it's just a great program. How did you guys get involved with that? They called us up, Pete, and they said... You know, you're kind of the current face of Chicago, and we've got a unique challenge. And I thought, oh, here we go. They're going to ask for money, which is fine, but that's what most charities do. Mm -hmm. They said, we don't want your money. We want you to put your faces behind us. And there are, there are um, so many Chicago-area World War II vets that have not seen their monument that we'd like you to use your TV power to help raise awareness so that, that um, the, the children and the grandchildren of these vets, the next-door neighbors of these vets, um, go into your store and sign these vets up to go for a one-day, all-expenses-paid trip to Washington, D.C. And that's how it got started, and we, we love being a part of it. You know, my neighbor is a World War II vet, Marty Buscemi, and Marty is just, I can't get him to go. He just won't do it. But we'll, you and I should talk after. We'll, let's, let's talk after. We'll get him. Uh, I love Marty. He's such a good guy. 95 years yeah. old, man. Still yeah. sweeping his sidewalk every night. Unbelievable. So the, 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 um, they are still, there's multiple flights throughout the year, so if someone thinks they missed it, they haven't. There's, I think there's eight flights a year, and honorflightchicago.org is where they can sign up. Right. Well, the coolest thing about this is, and, and I know this is getting to know my 91-year-old grandfather and his reservations, they don't mm -hmm. even need to bring a wallet. Yeah. You don't need to bring anything. Nothing. All you need is your ID, and that is it. They will get you to and from and take care of it all because my grandfather is always like, ah, it can't be free. They're going to want my money somehow, or they're going to get me out there. <laughs> they're not going to get me home if I don't pay. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool because all you need is your ID, and they handhold yeah. each individual vet to take them and show them the honor they deserve absolutely we even buy them beer <laughs> <laughs> that's great and uh if you haven't seen tim smith the uh the smith brothers latest tv commercial there's a mini tim in the commercial <laughs> i prefer tiny tim <laughs> well you, you know pete most furniture ads are so boring mm -hmm. you know it's like a barca lounger and a price oh, i love right? the barca lounger <laughs> <laughs> but so the, the, the challenge for me was is we've got 20 million dollars of furniture inventory to sell and it's like so how do you do it without being boring and so it's really been since we've been on tv it's, the whole point has been we try to entertain so that every once in a while people will pay attention when we have something to sell and since we can't act, which you you've, you've, uh, you can attest to, Pete, <laughs> well, I try to I, I try to write the scripts like we. It's really loosely, kind of a Kirby enthusiasm, really loosely scripted, and just hope we get some TV magic. <laughs> and so, in this one, I took my brother Walt, who uh, who uh, the bigger the role I give him, the better he is. Yeah, Again, he, since we can't act, he he, he, he he's can't great. Do, he, he can't do subtle. None of us can. Uh -huh. but he can do big and loud. And so I made him a mad scientist. And in the spot, he, he, um, he creates this furniture liquidation machine 
so it, it liquidates furniture by shrinking the price, and so <laughs> it, it, it's all the smoke and mirrors, and kind of a yep. kind of a, a nod to uh, Back to the Future's 30th anniversary coming up, right? And uh, so it's kind of a honey, I shrunk the brothers. Because at the end, my brothers push me in the machine and shrink me. Yes. And so that's you, why I'm Tiny Tim. You get a Tiny Tim, Scott. You you got to see the commercial. You'll love it. <laughs> the Tiny Tim. It's, <laughs> it comes out today, Pete. It, like Literally, like this minute, it's running for the first time. And I think it's the people I've shown, it's really funny. People really seem to enjoy this. Well, I, uh, I have seven brothers. I don't think I could get them to do a TV commercial and curb your enthusiasm style. <laughs> I just don't think it would happen. Well, we've been doing it for like 20 years now, and my brother Mark says, I'll show up, just don't put me in a bee costume. <laughs> That's kind of his standard. No bee costume. No bee costume. And Scott's uh, moving into a new place. He needs a Barca lounger. No, I need, a, a, I need a Chesterfield uh, how is about what a, I need. How about a Barca? What is that? Chesterfield? Is it's that a chest? A Chesterfield is a, is a tufted, usually leather, more formal sofa. It's a great sofa. Yeah. I got to tell you, since we've been friends, I've learned so much about furniture that I didn't know. It's just crazy. <laughs> Pete, what have you learned besides Barca Lounger? Well, Barca Lounger is very exciting. Now you know Chesterfield. Uh, well, I know tufted now furniture. I didn't really pay attention. I knew it had the grooves in it. Now, it looks like right. a smoking lounge couch. You'd smoke a cigar on it, Perfect. a bunch of books around you. Uh, really? You yeah. need some books? We can get some books for you. I don't read. Nice. So, Tim, how long is the sale going on with the TV so commercial? It goes up through July 6th. Okay. So, funny, I had the, uh, the drive-on earlier. I heard um, CCR doing Born on the Bayou, and he's... Born on the 4th of July. And I thought, oh, that would have been perfect to use for the 4th of July sale. But instead, we've got my brother in the furniture liquidation machine. $20 million <laughs> <laughs> liquidation. The mad scientist. The uh, mad scientist. And uh, are you having a good summer? Things are good with you? Things are great. We're having a great year. Um, you know, this economy so it's so hard to forecast, but we're having a really great year. Yeah. And I think, you know what it is? I was sitting in, in, in a, one of those big box stores yesterday. Costco. And I'm looking around at these long lines and those horrible fluorescent lights, and I'm thinking, is this what shopping has come to? And I think the fact that we're not a big box store with a multinational corporate owner, that we're just a local Chicago family that's, you know, trying to make a living and, uh, and, and raise our kids. And mm-hmm. I think the fact that it's smaller stores that have great, great interior designers that are really friendly makes us different and is the reason that we're having a really good year and you guys go to all the stores you're in indiana today is that right i'm in our um like dan mcneil i'm a northwest indiana guy and i'm in our <laughs> maryville indiana store tell danny mac to stop by on his way home yeah he shouldn't buy a chesterfield chesterfields yes uh from walter e smith furniture tim smith tim great to talk to you i'd love to see you this summer buddy pete like chris christie i love each and every one of you <laughs> all right man take care okay see you later